Okay, welcome back, Elon gang, Elon fam. We're looking at Doge Elon Mars. So, we are on the daily time frame one. So, uh, we are on the log. I'm going to switch it over to linear. All right, real quick. So, first thing with linear before I do get into what we've been talking about, especially with like the boxes right here, at least. Uh, one, you do potentially have a descending wedge. Or no, not descending wedge, descending, excuse me, triangle. Which, well, let's say that move roughly plays out. And we do actually find here a support. Uh, let's go from right on over here. To over here. Um, and, well, we're going to look at the measure move for it. Uh, for both sides. So... Should we actually end up breaking down from that? That puts you back all the way down to roughly about 1590. And then let's say you get that move back towards the upside. That gets you up to about 2390. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, time to go into the smaller time frames here. So, uh, what do you call it? So the second box that we actually marked, one, um, Funny enough, it's not even really acting as support. It's more acting as a resistance area, which is one, not good, because that means a prior support right here and right on over here, flipped into a resistance. Now, alternatively as well, what we also do need to take note of is, assuming that we actually end up holding this low that we set yesterday, then you still are actually maintaining a higher low to a degree, even though that is really friggin' balls close. Now, the other thing here is as well let's get rid of this oops did not want to do that let's get rid of all that gibberish so no the computer wants to be annoying now wonderful um if you were to look at this and i guess necessarily see this if we do get a push back on up and we're able to break through these prior wicks right here meaning open enclosure really above uh 1980 then there is a decent shot that we actually do get a decent sized move back on up as for this would be you could consider like double bottom double top ish however we are on the one hour time frame so also do keep that in mind as well but uh even on like the daily time frame this would look relatively the same right here um alternatively there's not a lot that i can really speak on here for the most part you're either going to hold this low as support essentially where you are right now and then you are gonna find another move back on up or you're just gonna break down from here i mean you could chop here and then do one of them but it's just something else to i guess keep in mind here now um the last couple of hours bitcoin did end up breaking down more so obviously if you see like bitcoin takes like a steep fall or even um like ethereum there's a decent shot that elon's going to follow because elon at least as of right now isn't gonna act like independently you're not gonna get like a pay pay move out of like elon now but um as for like accumulation standpoint i am 100 percent going to call the accumulation at least until i see any evidence to further it daily closures below the current low that we have uh then i'm 100 calling it at least for the time being unless something else stands out to me which um as of right now nothing does so that's why i'm saying i'm going to call it after that um however ultimately whenever this last drop does ultimately end up ending i would imagine this would be actually the last drop you either chop around for a bit or you're just gonna like v line up but and by chop around a bit then you'd be like actually being accumulated blah 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 so anyway i guess the bias for right now is at least for on the hourly time frame you did end up making a higher high right here right now technically you did end up breaking this low if you are looking for this low you would be at support right now and you would want to end up curling back on up now uh curling back on up from this point the first area that you would need to break above is actually this uh 2044 you need open enclosures specifically on the four hour time frame we're gonna go with because you can see this was a prior demand area somewhat and turned into a resistance area, meaning this is also now a possible distribution. So you would need to get back above there, but um, other than that, really, there's not 
anything else for me to speak on so if you guys could though if you do enjoy the content be sure to leave a like comment sub all that fun stuff really helps the channel grow and i really do appreciate it and you guys have a phenomenal day as always and remember none of this is financial advice but uh you guys have a phenomenal day as always and yeah adios muchachos